Empire State Eclipse. This afternoon, solar eclipse is being marked with special events here in the city and across New York State. We begin our coverage with CBS News' Eliza Westbrook at the Intrepid Museum on the west side. Hi, Elijah. Hey, good morning, Chris and Mary. Yeah, the day has finally arrived in just a few hours. We will all get the chance to experience the solar eclipse in some form or fashion. Now, to be clear, New York City is not in the path of full totality, but you can certainly count on a spectacular sight. The day has come. Millions of people are expected to see Monday's solar eclipse. It's a, such an amazing opportunity to be able to like get to teach people and also even experience it, like even get to experience the solar eclipse like ourselves. Students at Comprehensive Model School Project in the Bronx have spent the last few days learning about what happens during an eclipse. From Texas to Maine, 15 states across the country will experience totality with 31 million people in its path. This huge influx of visitors, especially in some of the remote parts of our state, Truly, you need to expect extended traffic delays. So pack your patients along with snacks and water and make sure you have a full tank of gas. The governor and other officials say you can watch this rare happening from almost anywhere in NYC. Transit agencies like the MTA are encouraging people ride public transportation over driving to view the eclipse. The New York and New Jersey DOT sharing the following tips. Do not park on the highway or roadway shoulders. Drivers should be prepared to turn on headlights if needed. And keep in mind, traffic is expected to surge, so be mindful that it's best to stay on top of the latest information. Doctors are suggesting you wear special glasses to protect your eyes. Some lucky New Yorkers picked up free ones over the weekend at the Moynihan train hall where long lines formed. But others weren't so lucky after they were gone in about 20 minutes. This is a very exciting moment for the city. Uh, it feels like a communal experience that we're all sharing. We're excited. I love New York. And back out here live, more to that point about the glasses. Uh, doctors say that it's always best to have uh, some form of glasses like these here, these uh, first alert weather glasses that our uh, CBS2 team here uh, made for us. And that's because it can cause permanent damage uh, to your eyes if you're looking up directly at the sun uh, while the solar eclipse is taking place. That's the very latest here from Manhattan's west side. Elijah Westbrook, CBS2 News. Okay, Elijah, thank you. Let's continue our team coverage of today's Empire state eclipse. CBS News' Christina Fan has more from the New York Hall of Science in Corona. Christina. Mary and Chris, good morning. About 2,000 spectators are expected to gather behind the museum on the lawn for a viewing party later on this afternoon. The doors open at 1 p.m. and the event will run until the eclipse is over, which is about 4.30 this afternoon. Over the weekend, we caught up with a lot of excited kids ready to see and learn more about this rare phenomenon. The celebration will include a DJ, food vendors, and a solar eclipse station where participants can observe sunspots and design their own eclipse art. But the president of the New York Hall of Science Museum says the best part is watching the little ones take in this real life science lesson and many already know quite a bit. We're very lucky to have this opportunity. We have must wear them otherwise our, our eyes will get hurt. This is truly science and you'll be able to see um, the effects of the moon blocking the sun, but it's something everyone gets to do. And the museum says if you can't make it right at 1 p.m., not to worry. They do expect most attendees to arrive after school dismissal time around 2 p.m. The museum will be providing free glasses, so all you really have to bring is your patience. They are expecting the area to be congested again around 2 p.m. as all of those families arrive with their children. For now, reporting live from Corona, Queens, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Okay, Christina, thank you so much. CBS News' Christine Johnson will be live from Niagara Falls. Lonnie Quinn will be live in Lake Placid and we will have a team of reporters across New York and New Jersey. You can watch our Empire State Eclipse coverage starting at 2 p.m. today on our streaming channel CBS News New York.